Hello, welcome to another video. Let's quickly solve this integration problem. It is the square root of 5 minus 3x squared dx. And um, the first thought you're going to have on your mind is, what strategy should I adopt? Well, I don't see any modification, but because there is a square root sign, I can think of something I can create that would give me a function under the square root sign that I can take the square root of. And the easiest thought you can have and because there's a minus sign and it's a constant minus a function, you might be thinking of sine theta substitution. And I assure you that that is what you should do. But before we do that, you have to prepare the way. Okay, let's get into the video. Essentially, the first thing you want to do is make sure that there is a 1 here so you can do your trig substitution for sine theta. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that this is equal to the integral of the square root. Instead of writing this 5 like this, I'm going to write 5 on the outside and factor it out. So there is a 1 minus, here I'm going to have 3 over 5. So remember, when you factor, you're dividing by 5. So if I divide this by 5, I get 1. If I divide this by 5, I get 3 over 5. And I still have my x squared, okay, dx. Okay, now I can rewrite this as the integral. I can pull out this 5. It becomes the square root of 5 times the square root of 1 minus 3 over 5 x squared dx. Okay, so now I'm about to do my trig substitution, but I want this to be a square, okay? I want this guy here to be a square. So what I can do is put this under a square root sign and then square it. So I can have this to be equal to, I can pull the square root of five back. This is square root of five times. Here, I'm gonna have the square root, the integral, Let's put it this way, the integral of 1 minus the square root of, let's put it this way, 3 over 5. Okay, a giant square root sign, 3 over 5x, and all of this is squared. Nice. So, this is the perfect scenario for using the trig substitution where this is going to be equal to sine theta. It makes your life a lot easier if you can do this preparation starting from here. Because now, 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine squared theta, and I can take the square root of cosine squared theta is just cosine theta, and I can integrate cosine theta. So let's do that. We're going to say let um, the square root of 3 over 5x be equal to sine theta. So that's going to be dx will be equal to, if I differentiate this, I'm going to get the square root of 5 over 3 multiplied by the derivative of sine theta, which is cosine theta d theta. So I'm going back, oh, what do I need? I need dx. Oh, I already have dx. So this integral here can be written as this. Let me put this arrow here. So it means I can write this to be equal to the square root of 5 times the integral of 1 square root of 1 minus, remember this is equal to sine theta. So this would be sine squared theta times dx. But we said dx is all of this, so I'm going to write the square root. So let's write this, the square root of 5 over 3 cosine theta d theta. Okay, let's simplify. This is equal to the square root. Now this can come out here so that we're going to have the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 over 3. So it's going to be square root of 5 times square root of 5 over square root of 3. We break this down into this and these two will give us 5 over square root of 3. Huh. So this is going to be 5 over square root of 3, which is 5 rad 3 over 3. So let's just write this here as 5 rad 3 over 3. 
and this integral here is going to be, remember that 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine squared theta, and the square root of cosine squared theta is just, sorry, the square root of cosine squared theta is cosine theta, right? So we're going to have just cosine theta times cosine theta d theta. We already moved this to the back, and what does that give us? This gives us 5 rad 3 over 3 times the integral of cosine squared theta d theta. So now we can integrate cosine squared theta, but we know that we can integrate a, a trig function that is squared. We have to bring it into the linear realm, and the trig identity for this, mm, okay, I'm just going to write everything before erasing. Remember that cosine 2 theta equals 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. This is an identity from your trig class or pre-calculus. Now, but we want just the cosine squared theta, so we can move this one here. It becomes cosine 2 theta plus 1, and then we divide by 2. So, this expression can be equal to 5 times the square root of 3 over 3 times the integral. This simply means that half of cosine 2 theta plus 1 is equal to cosine squared theta. You have to get used to this because you'll get to use this many times. So with what we have, we're going to replace this expression with one half of cosine 2 theta plus 1. Okay, d theta. But we know that we can move this guy here so that your answer is 5 rad 3 over 6. So this is equal to 5 rad 3 over 6 times the integral of cosine 2 theta plus 1 d theta. So the basic thing to do next is just to integrate this, integrate this, leave the constant on the outside. So this is going to be 5 rad 3 over 6. Then we have the integral. If we integrate cosine 2 theta, it's going to become sine 2 theta over 2. So this is going to be, let's write it this way, half of sine 2 theta. And that's it. And if we integrate theta at 1 d theta, we're going to get plus theta. And that's it. We know what sine theta is. But we don't know what sine 2 theta is. We know sine theta. But we don't know what sine 2 theta is. Okay, so I know that sine theta is this, which I can write as the square root of 3x over square root of 5. Okay, which when I draw a triangle, it looks like this. This is theta, opposite will be square root of 3x, hypotenuse will be square root of 5. So what is the adjacent side? The square of, the, the square of this minus the square of this, so if we want to get this, it's going to be 5 minus 3x squared. Oh, and then we take the square root. Oh, it was the original problem. Okay, so now, what is sine? We got sine. What is cosine of this angle? The cosine of this angle is this over this. So we know that cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is the square root of 5 minus 3x squared divided by the square root of 5. Good. So now let's go back here and enter our answer. Because I know that sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta, right? Okay, let's rewrite this. This is 5, so this is the same thing as 5 rad 3 over 6 multiplied by 1 half, but instead of writing sine 2 theta, I'm going to write 2 sine theta cos theta, okay? Hey, where's the plus c? I forgot to write plus c. Hey, we're going to do plus c somewhere. 
in the future when we're done, okay? Um, don't worry about this. And then this is gonna be plus theta, okay? So now, I know that this two will cancel this two, so that my answer is equal to five rad three over six times sine theta cos theta plus theta. Okay, I think we've reached the final point where I can write my answer. So what is sine theta times cos theta? It's gonna be this times this. I need more space, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna copy this, put it somewhere here, and then have the space to write the final answer. So this is gonna be equal to um, five rad three over six times sine theta cos theta, which is gonna be times rad three x over square root of five times cosine theta, which is equal to the square root of five minus three x squared over the square root of five. So I have written this times this, and then I'm gonna write this also, which is plus five rad three over six times arc sine of, what is that arc sine? It's square root of three over five over square root of five x. Okay something amazing is about to happen. If I multiply this by this, I'm gonna get three. And three will divide six, I'll get one half. Did you see that? So I know I'm gonna get one over two. Five, rad five times rad five gives me five, that five cancels out this five. So what I have at the end is basically just this x over two. It's gonna be x over two, and then I have this remaining, the square root of five minus three x squared. If I go to this side, there is no simplification to do, so I'm just gonna write this as plus. Um, five rad three over six, five rad three over six, times the arc sine of the square root of three over five x. This is what this integral is supposed to be. Crazy numbers, but good skill to learn. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.